Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to the Football Appreciation YouTube channel. Now, Wolves have been linked with James Tarkovsky, and it kind of feels like Talking Wolves put this out, and it kind of feels like the first rumour in ages that all Wolves fans are behind. Um, and I kind of understand why. I don't, I don't think this is necessarily the perfect signing, but I think it ticks a lot of boxes. You know, I was doing a little pros and cons list before I started this, and there's like eight or nine pros, which, you know, is, is always a good sign. So... Let me explain why I think this is probably the best signing we can get um, as a centre back. So, obviously, there, there's some like pretty boring and obvious things, right? Like he's English, which I know shouldn't count, but it just does. You, you know, of course it does, especially with the, the Premier League rules and the European rules. You do need English players, and with James Tarkovsky, the the kind of unique thing about him right now is he's out of contract next season, and. Even though he's market value is still high according to transfer mark, and no transfer mark isn't reliable. I'm just using it as like a reference point. It's still high, but with one year left on his contract, this feels like something very realistic. And if you believe uh, John Percy, Burnley are about to spend twelve million pound on Nathan Collins from the Championship. So it kind of feels like this is something that's you know in motion. Like I can't see Burnley spending twelve million on a backup centre back. So it does feel like James Tarkoy is going to leave. Now, obviously, him being English is a good thing. One thing that I've never really realised, but his, in, his injury record is incredible as well. Like if you look at his, you know, he's played, what, 150, 160 games for Burnley over the last four years. He's not really missed any games, which I think, I know it doesn't sound like anything, but when you look at Willie Bolly's injury record, for example, you do need an ever-present at the back. And James Tarkovsky is kind of that. You know, he's Premier League proven, he's English. And I think one thing that's interesting as well is if you look at Burnley, basically every game this season they played a 4-4-2 or a 4-4-1-1. And look, I know Bruno Large might not play a 4-4-2, but everything kind of suggests that he would. Um, but this is a system James Tarkovsky knows pretty well, um, and he knows it in the Premier League. So in terms of Bruno Large, I feel like the key thing for Bruno Large is to solve that defence and that defensive issues. Obviously, there's issues elsewhere, but James Tarkovsky would be an easy fit. You just slot him in there, he knows what he's doing. He probably doesn't even need to be the coach that much. And... He has all the attributes you need. You know, if you, if you look at James Tarkovsky's numbers, obviously they're really hard to judge because Burnley are so different to most Premier League clubs. Like, not many centre backs have this much green. And the reason his pressures are so low is because Burnley play a deep block, so he never has to leave that back four, if that makes sense. Um, whereas someone like Roman Sace, who kind of just is a madman, probably is a bit higher. Yeah, it's double. So, but if you look at James Tarkovsky, the, the first thing that I see from this is. He's in the top 1% in Europe for aerial win rate. Like, now, James Tarkovsky's not actually a big guy. He's only six foot, uh, six foot one. But to win 5.3 aerial duels a game is mental. Like, if you look at... I think Willy Bollies isn't even that high. Yeah, Willy Bollies is free. And Willy Bollies got four inches on James Tarkovsky. So he's very good in the air. And I think we all saw at the end of the season, you know, we can't really defend set pieces. And James Tarkovsky's an immediate fix to that. And... Obviously, all these defensive numbers are jacked. I wouldn't read too much into that because it's just how deep Burnley are. Um, and he's a pretty good dribbler as well, which surprised me. You know, to be in the top, what, 31%, that's pretty good, especially when you're playing for Burnley. That's not really his job. So I think all his numbers, the only downside is his passing numbers, but I'll, I'll come on to them in a minute and explain why they're not actually that important. One other interesting thing as well is if you look at our other centre backs, right? So. I think James Tarkovsky solves the issue that all of our other centre-backs have. So, Willie Bolly's main issue is that he's injured all the time and going to go to the AFCON. Roman Sace's main issue, again, he's going to go to the AFCON and he's ageing and he's a bit erratic. Connor Cody's not really proved in a back four yet and he's very limited. And then Max Kilman is just kind of an experience thing and he's pretty bad in the air for someone his height. And then if you look at James Tarkovsky and go back to it, he, he fits all of that. He's Premier League proven. He doesn't get injured. There's no lack of experience. He's good in the air. And he's a pretty safe defender. Like, the reason his pressure is so low is because he doesn't leave the back four. He's your sitter, right? Um, and, you know, I'm sh and I feel like this, if we did sign in James Tarkovsky, that kind of solves our centre-back issues. Obviously, we've already brought in Jason Muscala. And I think James Tarkovsky and Jason Muscala maybe let one of Cecil Kilman go. I think that's a good set of centre-backs for Bruno Lodge to work with. You know, he can't, he can't moan about folks and not backing him then. So I think those, there's a lot of pros to James Tarkovsky. English, used to a 4-4-2, Premier League proven, pretty good defensive numbers, good in the air, one year left on his contract, and he's got no injury record. 
there are some downsides, obviously. Of course there are. You kind of have to acknowledge them, right? Like, even with a year left on his contract, Burnley is still going to want a lot of money. Like, this isn't going to be some cheap deal that we can get. And look, I don't have any issue with this. I think this is a position that we should go and spend some money on. But we know what Foson are like. And they'll see they'll see that he's 28 and see that as a depreciating asset. Um, so that is a concern. He's not quick either, which, again, I don't really think is much of an issue, especially if we're going to play a back four um, and have two two holders in front of him. But he's not that quick. And regarding the on-the-ball stuff that I said earlier, he's not good on the ball. If anything, he's terrible on the ball. However, this is kind of... I don't think this is a James Tarko- Tar- James Tarkovsky issue. It's more of a Burnley issue. You know, if you look at Kevin Long, who's kind of Burnley's backup centre-back, again, atrocious on the ball. And, and Ben Mee, who I, I think is a pretty good centre-back. Again, bad on the ball. Like, to me, that's, that suggests that that's not necessarily a James Tarkovsky issue. It's just more of a of a Burnley issue. The fact that Burnley don't play out the back, it's, it's kind of a tactical thing. And I remember James Tarkovsky when he was at Brentford. I kind of always remember him being pretty good on the ball. Like, I don't have any stats to back that up, but I remember watching him at Brentford and thinking, yeah, this kind of, you know, most young players that come through at Brentford are pretty good on the ball, i.e. Esri Concert. So, of course, it's a concern that he's he's terrible on the ball and doesn't really make many passes. And there might be a bit of an adaption if if we do play a bit more on the front foot under Bruno Large, but I don't think there's any other real downsides apart from the fact he's not incredible on the ball and might be a bit expensive. But I think all the pros that I've kind of just listed definitely outweigh the cons for me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Why not? Nearly at 300, so help a brother out. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me know what you think of Tarkovsky. Um, subscribe to the channel and yeah, peace.